ideas. We know that flowers differ in shape, size, color, fragrance, and so on. But flowers have some common parts. Let us familiarize these parts and their functions. In this hibiscus flower, this is pedicel. What is the function of pedicel? Pedicel connects the flower with the plant. Observe the top side of this pedicel. Can you identify any difference? Yes. Some more fat and flat. This part is called thalamus. To know the function, please observe where are the floral parts sitting. Floral parts are sitting on thalamus. Then thalamus holds different parts of flower. See the cup-like part just above the thalamus. This is calyx. Yes, this is calyx. To know the function of calyx, we can observe this bud. Here, where are other floral parts are? They are inside the bud. So, here calyx covers and protects the flower when it is a bud. What about here? Here calyx holds the petals. Then calyx has two functions. When it is a bud, it protects the flowers and it holds the petals after it blooms. We know what are these? These are petals. Collectively, petals are called corolla. Corolla provides color, fragrance and attractiveness to the flower. These peculiarities help the flower to attract insects to them. Male and female reproductive organs are also there in flowers. Here these fibers and small ball like parts on their tops. These fibers are called filaments and the small ball like parts are called anthers. Filaments and anthers are collectively called andresium. Andresium is the male reproductive organ of the flower. Inside these anthers, pollen grains are seen. Male gametes are seen inside these pollen grains. We can observe the andresium in another flower also. Here, these are filaments and anthers. Collectively, these parts called andresium of flower. Now, we can familiar female reproductive organ in the flower. It is called gynesium. To see gynesium, we can remove all other floral parts which we have already studied. Yes, this pedicel can remove and thalamus partially we can remove. Now caries is removed. Petals or corolla is removed. Filaments and anders are removed. Now this part is 
called gynoecium gynoecium has three parts here this is ovary and this is stigma there is a tube which connects stigma with ovary is called style we can observe the gynoecium of another flower also this oval shape is called ovary and this is stigma now i am going to dissect this gynoecium inside of ovary this part is called ovules ovules here is a white tube which connects ovary to stigma is called style this is style now this is gynoecium gynoecium has three parts ovary stigma and style inside of ovary ovules are seen female gamete egg is seen inside of these ovules now we have summarized all the parts of flowers and their functions okay thank you